Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at compound interest. We're going to answer the question, what is compound interest and how can it be calculated? So compound interest earns interest on the principal and any previously earned interest. So simple interest is going to grow like this, while compound interest is going to grow like that. It's going to grow more rapidly. Simple interest, compound interest, because the interest is being added back to the principal. So we can think of it as interest added on interest. And then, like I said, it grows more quickly than simple interest. So here is the formula for compound interest. Notice it is set equal to A, the total value instead of the interest. So we're going to be finding the total value with the formula. P is still the principal original amount of money, R is still the percentage rate as a decimal, and T is still the time in years. The compound interest formula, A equals P times one plus R to the T, finds the total value. To find the interest earned, we will have to subtract the principal from the total amount like this. So we will find total amount with this formula and to find the interest only, we will take that total amount and subtract the principal from it. Let's look at this first one. It says $2,000 borrowed at a 4% annual compound interest rate for two years. We're gonna find the total value A and the interest earned I. So let's write out our formula first, it is A equals P times one plus R to the T. So I will find A, the total value, by plugging in the principal, which was 2000, the rate, which was 4%, and 4% as a decimal is 0 0.04, and the time as two years. So to find the total value, I will do 2000 times one plus 0 0.04 to the time of two. So 2000 times one plus 0 0.04 to the second is $2,163.20. So we found the total value A, it is $2,163.20. Now I want to find the interest earned. So to find that, I take my total value and I subtract the principal from it. So my total value is $2,163.20, and I would subtract the principal of 2,000 from it, and I would get $163.20. So the interest earned is $163.20. Let's look at number two. It says $1,000 deposited into a 5% annual compound interest rate for one year. So we want to find the total value with our compound interest formula, A equals P times one plus R to the T. I'm looking for A. P is the principal, which is $1,000. R is the rate, 5%, which is 0 0.05, and then T is the time in years, which is one year. So to find the total value, I will do the principal, which is 1,000 times one plus my rate as a decimal, 0 0.05, to the time of one year. So to find the total value, I'm gonna do 1,000 times one plus 0 0.05 to the time of one. And I get $1,050. So the total value A is 1,050. And then to find the interest earned, I take that total amount and I subtract the principal from it. So I take 1,050 and I subtract 1,000 from it and I get $50. So the interest earned is $50. Let's look at three. It says Tori is buying a new $500 microphone for her YouTube channel. She takes out a 24 month loan with an annual compound interest rate of 3% to pay for the microphone. How much will Tori pay in total? So we are finding total, which is A. 
So just doing the compound interest formula of A equals P times one plus R to the T will be enough this time because I don't need to figure out the interest earned, just the total value that she's gonna pay in total. So I don't know what A is, that's what I'm looking for. P is the principal, that was the $500. R is the rate, which is 3% or 0 0.03 as a decimal. And then T is the time in years. 24 months is two years. So now I'm gonna substitute this in. A equals the principal is 500 times one plus 0 0.03 to the time of two. So 500 times one plus 0 0.03 to the second is $530.45. So in total, she would pay $530.45 for the microphone with that two-year loan. Number four says Adam is saving for retirement. He deposits $10,000 into an account for 25 years. If the account has a 2% annual compound interest rate, how much interest will Adam have earned? So this time, since I'm finding the interest, after I find A with the compound interest formula, I'll have to subtract the principal from it. Let's start by finding A. I'll need the principal, which was $10,000 the rate, which was 2% or 0 0.02 as a decimal, and time, which is 25 years. And now I'm gonna plug into the compound interest formula, A equals P times one plus R to the T. So the total value will be 10,000 times one plus R 0 0.02 rate to the time of 25. So 10,000 times one plus 0 0.02 to the 25th. So the total value of that account will be 16406 point, that would round to zero six. But it wasn't asking for the total amount, it was asking for how much interest he would earn. So now I'm gonna take the total amount of $16,406.06 and subtract the principal, which was 10,000 from it. And I get $6,406.06. Number five says Jason takes out a $2,500 loan to buy a treadmill. The loan has a 3% annual compound interest rate for three years. How much interest will Jason pay? So this is asking for the interest. So to find the interest, I will take the total value and subtract the principal from it. Let's find the total value first by using our compound interest formula. So A is the total value, that's what I'm looking for. P is the principal, that's 2,500. R is the rate, 3% is 0 0.03 is a decimal, and then T is the time in years, which is three years. So to find the total value, I'll do 2,500 times one plus 0 0.03 to the time, which is three. So to find the total value, I'll do 2,500 times one plus 0 0.03 to the third power, and I would get $2,731, and then that would round to 82 cents. But it wasn't asking for the total, it was asking for the interest. So now I'm gonna take this total, which is 2731.82, and I'm gonna subtract the principal of 2,500 from it, and I get $231.82. Number six says Sophia is saving to buy her dream farmhouse. She deposits $12,000 into an account with a 6% annual compound interest rate. What will the total value of the account be after eight years? So this time I'm just looking for A, so I just need to plug into the compound interest formula to find that total value and then I will be done. So A is what I'm looking for. P, the principal is $12,000. R, the rate is 6% or 0 0.06, and then T, the time in years, is 8. 
So to find the total value, I will do 12,000 times one plus my rate of 0 0.06 to the time of eight years. So I will do 12,000 times one plus 0 0.06 to the eighth. And the total value after eight years would be $19,000 $126 and that would round to 18 cents.